I'm Christine and welcome to our Infinity Workshop. In this short video, we are going to help you select the correct quick corner hardware parts and how to install them when adapting your Infinity Air Grate into a steel panel system. But before we start, I'd like to point out two important objectives when adapting the Infinity Air Grate into any existing floor system. First, the Infinity tile needs to be installed so there is an adequate structural support for cart and heavy equipment loads. And second, you want the Infinity Grate to have the best flush fit as possible with your surrounding solid tiles. To achieve both objectives, we need to make sure the right Infinity Quick Corner parts are installed and properly engaged with the existing pedestal support understructure. So, with that in mind, let's look at the quick corner parts used when adapting into a steel application. This is pretty easy since there are only two adapting hardware parts involved. Quick corner 2, along with a self-locking nylon quick nut that secures it onto the panel. We determine which quick corner to use by measuring the span between the finished floor surface and the point where the infinity quick corner makes support contact with the understructure. Typically, this is on the pedestal head as we have marked here and will refer to as dimension X. There are different ways you can make this measurement and remember, the more accurate the measurement, the better flush fit, which is very important so you don't end up with a potential trip hazard or speed bump effect with cart traffic. For our demonstration here and in the field, you will need to remove one or possibly two existing tiles from the floor to clearly expose the corner support understructure. After the tile has been removed, take an ordinary 12 inch ruler and place it on its edge on the tile surface so that the end extends over the cavity area directly above the corner support pedestal. Making sure the edge of the ruler stays in full contact with the panel surface end to end. Position a sturdy business card on its end flat against the back side of the ruler. Be careful not to put too much pressure on the business card or it will bow out like this. And this will give you a false measurement. Now we'll make a pencil mark line on the business card along the bottom edge of the ruler. Okay, now let's use the ruler to record the measurement of our line marking made on the business card. It measures 1 and 7 16 inches. As the old saying goes, it is better to measure twice and cut once, so even though you're not cutting anything, you should measure again and make sure you get the same dimension. And it's even better yet if you take an additional measurement at one of the opposite corners. Remember, the more accurate this measurement is, the better flush fit you will have after placing the infinity tile into the floor. There are three quick corners available. Quick corner one is white, Quick Corner 2 is gray, and Quick Corner 3, which is tan. Quick Corner 2 is primarily used with steel floors. Each of the three Quick Corners provides one quarter inch overall adjustment for level. The simple understanding of the Quick Corner is that when you rotate the position of the Quick Corner a quarter turn, you effectively change the height profile of the infinity panel by one sixteenth of an inch. There are four letter markings molded into each quick corner for easy identification. E, H, G, and F. Since we already have measured for X dimension using the business card, you can refer to the Infinity website and the Quick Corner Parts Guide. That will identify exactly which quick corner to use for the steel system and the corner position for the best flush fit. For this demo, we already know to use quick corner 2 with it set to the H position. The quick corner hand tool I will use in this demonstration is not required, but does allow you a faster setup and eliminates finger fatigue when working with a large number of panels. If you do not have the hand tool, 
A half inch box end wrench will work fine too. We have now placed the infinity panel bottom side up on our table. Simply place the quick corner over the positioning post on the panel, making sure that the H marking is in the outer position. Take the quick nut and push it onto the post just enough to engage the threads and then use the hand tool or wrench to firmly push down and seat the quick nut into a locked position. You don't want a loose fit, so test the fit by wiggling the quick corner. If the quick corner is loose, then simply turn the quick nut clockwise a quarter turn. Check again for a snug fit. Repeat this as necessary until you get a satisfactory fit. Once the quick nut is secured properly in place, the quick corner cannot be accidentally displaced or moved out of level position during routine handling and maintenance. If by chance you need to remove the quick nut, it has to be fully threaded off the post by hand. Now we'll install the other three quick corners on the panel, being very careful to place each one in the same letter H position, otherwise we can end up with an out of level panel and a possible rocker condition. All corners are now installed with a snug fit and the infinity tile is ready to be placed into the floor. The final thing we need to do is see if we achieved our two main objectives best flush fit, and providing safe structural support for heavy equipment loads. Looks like we have a near flush transition between the infinity grate and existing solid tile. So now let's see how we did on engaging the pedestal support structure. The view is blocked here by this stringer, so let's look at this other identical setup that has one of the stringer sections removed. Now we can see how the quick corner has almost complete engagement with the pedestal support head. Rule of thumb on this is we need a minimum of 50% of the quick corner pad engaging the pedestal head for proper structural stability and safe durable performance in your data center. This is Christine and I hope this video was helpful in how to select and install quick corner parts for adapting into your steel floor system. Thanks for visiting our Infinity Workshop.